Welcome to my short video series, How to Make a Set of Wind Chimes. What's special about this series is that I'm going to make these wind chimes out of materials that I already have in my home, and I'm going to use the tools that I already have. Because in this time of the uh, COVID virus, we're just not going to make any unnecessary trips. I feel like I got enough scraps laying around to accomplish this, so let's get started. Well, fortunately, I have two pieces of pipe. Uh, this first bigger one here is actually the top rail for what would be a chain link fence. I have no idea why I bought that many years ago, but I still have it. And uh, that, of course, is going to make a big, nice wind chime. Then the smaller one is electrical conduit. Both of these, I think, are of the proper length to make a wind chime. You know, wind chimes can be anywhere from three chimes all the way up to five. And so we'll just have to see if I have enough pipe to make a three or four. We'll do the measurements here on the next installment. All right, scavenger and scouring hunt number one. Here's what I found. I found a blade for my chop saw that will cut metal. That should be very effective. Stain, I've got stain laying all over the place. I will likely make all the other component parts out of some sort of wood. Uh, it remains to be seen whether I have any lacquer or any polyurethane laying around, but I have a feeling I do. I've had this spool of wire forever. I don't even know why I have it. It may prove to be too stiff of a gauge for this project, but we'll see. And I found some safety glasses, so gathering materials slowly but surely. And there's my chop saw. I'll probably move the saw and the table it's on to the outside or make some sort of temporary stand outside to cut the metal when it comes time to do that. Well, when you make wind chimes, you're going to have to cut patterns out of whatever material you're using. I'll be using wood, so I've got a band saw and also a saber saw. The bandsaw is in somewhat of a state of disrepair. I'll have to check it. I use it very infrequently, so I'll just have to see if it works. Uh, in a pinch, of course, the saber saw would work just fine for cutting circles and other irregular shapes out of wood. Got a couple of drills. There's a hammer drill and a handheld uh, grinder or cutter. I don't know if I'll use the grinder or cutter, but I'll use the drill. I do not have a drill press. But there are some rather unique ways of making holes cut on equal distances of both sides of a pipe, uh, which is what a drill press would do if I had one. <laughs> but there are some tricks that we can use to make that uh, hole uh, when we need to. All right, next I have this bench grinder, which I have used maybe once in the 30 plus years I've been carrying it around. I'm not even sure it works, but it would be very handy for removing the burrs and smoothing the end of the actual chimes. Uh, I have a saw to cut uh, the pipe. That'll work on small and large diameter pipes. I also have a pipe cutter uh, that'll come in handy on the smaller pipe. And I just found some more of the um, electrical conduit, just a shorter piece of it laying around. So I might use that if I run out of, uh, you know, pipe on that longer piece I showed you earlier. Well, that about does it. I haven't collected everything. I haven't looked for things like eyelets, various pieces of hardware, paint, those type of things. I'm sh Files, that's another one. I'll find all that. I'm pretty sure I have it. And it wouldn't show up on camera very well anyway. So the next step for me is going to be thinking about what kind of wind chime I want. Now, fortunately, there is a gentleman, his name is Lee Height, who has put together a website that is just about comprehensive in terms of how to build just about any kind of wind chime you desire. He's got, uh, a, for instance, a spreadsheet you download. All you have to do is enter in the inner and outer diameter of the pipe, the type of metal, and it'll spit out the exact length for all the musical notes you could possibly want. So why reinvent the wheel, I say. <laughs> so we'll be looking that up and making some more decisions. As you saw earlier, I've got a large diameter pipe and a small diameter pipe. I'm not sure which one I'll choose yet, but we'll talk about that next time along with a few other things on the next installment of Building Wind Chimes at Home with the materials I already have.